Welcome to a special episode, Look What Jess Found. I'm going to post this video tomorrow because Sunday is, uh, for two reasons. One, Sunday is the day that I get, for some reason, I get a spike in, uh, I guess, people at home and, you know, on their computer or their phone. <laughs> and the other is to give the members a day to watch uh, the videos before they're public. Uh, published to the public and to the subscribers. So I've been getting this question a lot lately, and I, I just feel like it's going to go up a hundred times. So it's like 10 times more than it was a month ago today. And I feel like in, in six months, especially if the, the economy crashes, I'm going to get this bit. I'm going to get this one question a thousand times more. And that is how much does it work? I want to know how much is it worth? Um, I don't understand. How do you know if something's valuable? How much is this penny worth? Uh, can I email you pictures of the, um, and that, all that's fine, right? This is not, just so you know that this video is not a criticism of that. This video is a criticism of the economy. And the state of affairs in people's, in, in, with people's money, you know what I'm saying? And I get it, you know. I I got boxes, boxes and boxes of the little red, and I just ordered a ten pack of the um the boxes of the that you put the coin flips in because my old ones are getting full, and I'm keeping all of those. Like today, today we found uh, three three centered pennies, right? Annealed centered. Kind of similar. Some some place actually call say centered annealed, like they used both words for the definition. And it's when and it's when the copper on the bottom of wherever the penny the planches are kept, right? They get fired up to to harden the um, copper, right? And if you if you find old if you find old penny rolls. Right, like I could. Oh man, this thing feels like a brick. Right, so I'm doing. I I had some old ones. Like they gave me some old ones at the bank. These things are like content gold. Um, there'll be a lot of copper in there, and some of the pennies will be annealed, centered. I don't know if you could see it or not. Yeah, you see. It's good. Oh, there it goes. And it has that coating on it. So one of the pennies I found today was the 1960 D. I don't know if it's a small date, large date. In proof condition, they're like three bucks or four bucks, maybe five bucks, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, graded, it, it'd have to be like proof that the eighty dollars graded like sixty nine, MS sixty nine proof. Yeah. So we're not talking about big dollars. It costs thirty bucks to get it graded, you know, between shipping, insurance, and all tax and all that. But this one is annealed. This 1960D is super annealed. I don't know if you can see it. Look how dark it is. So the 1960D is a key variety. It's still only worth a buck or two. But this is a variety, an era of the variety. So this, But you have to know that. If you don't know that, maybe you'll put it out there and you'll sell it for two bucks. And someone will buy it for two bucks, then try to sell it for 20 30 40 50 dollars. And it says, and people who collect varieties, key dates, and all that, they want the era version of those coins that they collect because they're even rarer. So I found that today, right? And what's it worth exactly? What, well, like I said, I looked up the D's, and they're only worth the 1960 D's, only worth two or three bucks. I didn't find any errors, so I know it's more valuable because it's it's an error, right? Because they're not supposed to look like that. They're not supposed to be annealed. <clears throat> but I know how to search. I know how to search for the value of coins. And I did. There's a link below. It says if you want to know how much, watch this video. How much a coin is worth? Watch this video. Watch that video. <clears throat> so penny roll hunting is a great way. It's so cheap, right? And if you find and, and, and it's almost free. It's basically free. 
Because anything that you don't keep, you send back. And anything you keep, we're talking about a penny. It's basically free. And so I think more and more people are going to pile into this hobby as a free way. It's like, it's, uh, you know what this reminds me of? Um, the searching, the metal detecting. This reminds me of metal detecting. Except metal detecting, you have to have a three, four hundred dollar machine. You have to spend, I mean, gas is, you know, three, four, five bucks a gallon. Wherever it, you have to, you know, unless it's in your backyard or something, you have to drive. You're talking about, you have to have bring lunch with you, cook. Clean. I mean, there's the, the expenses that, 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 that come with metal detecting. I mean, you find a coin that's worth a hundred bucks, but you spent a hundred bucks to metal detect, unless you have a channel that's making you a lot of money. You know, for for money, you're not going to do it because it has too much cost. But this, most people have a bank that's in walking distance from their house. They walk to the bank, get all of their, all their pennies, as many as pennies they let you take, take them off. But you can even order the boxes. You can go in there and get the box of the new pennies. You really want to look? I mean, me personally, I prefer the copper looking for, for the for the ones that the customers brought in. Was this copper in it? And you don't find copper anymore. I haven't. In the boxes of, you know, the sealed boxes, you're not going to find copper in them. I haven't anyway. So it's free. It's a free hobby where if you find and you learn about, you learn about the uh, penny errors and you keep a penny mat with you and you're looking for key varieties, key dates, semi-key dates, the wide AMs, the double ears, the double dies, obverse, the double dies on the reverse, the edges, the rims, the, the, um, the strike throughs, the die clashes. You know, watch the videos. You'll see I find all of these things. And that's how you can learn. About the hobby but if you're not willing to put the time in forget it forget, you're not you're not gonna i mean you're not gonna be as successful as you would have otherwise if you watch all my videos you will see the process of what it takes to learn how to penny roll hunt to find i have valuable pennies i have good um i was gonna prison sense which is a uh which is the typical um, die clash where the two dies hit each other without the penny being the, the, the plant chip being in between the dies when they make it. The, and then this part of the, the die puts its impression on this die and this die puts its impression on that die. So when the next plant chip comes in, you'll see the image of the reverse dies on, on that surface. But I learned that. I didn't know what it was when I first saw it. I was like, what is that? And then I did my, re I did all the work already. All you have to do is watch my videos and you'll learn through, through, you won't have to do all the crazy research. I mean, it's good that you do and you have all the bookmarks and you add to your font of knowledge. But you have this channel to show the amateur who's like, oh man, I need to make a few bucks and you could, I don't even I haven't even put anything on eBay in so long because I'm so busy. I mean, I could end this channel right now and I got about a thousand pennies that, and put them up and I'll probably make a few hundred bucks or a couple thousand dollars on the pennies that I have. But then it takes a long time to do. But you guys could do that, right? Because you're not you don't have a YouTube channel. You're not spending four, five, six hours a day making content like I am seven days a week. So you could spend that time searching and then posting it on ebay or mass there's like what not 100 but there's like 10 good websites where you can post you know macari ebay um the other one that starts with a p the new one that's really popular anyway so that's what you could do right watch my videos get as many customer submitted coin rolls from your bank like this not the ones that are in the sealed box hoard them get as many as you can the copper alone is worth three cents each so you, you doubled you tripled your money on the copper alone so that's an investment 
And then you'll learn how to search for the errors. And the really strong errors have value, and then you can put them up on, on eBay and you can make yourself a few bucks. So I hope that was helpful. I'm very thankful to my members, the five who I mentioned before, Marte, Sandra, Kat, Otis, and Eric from Kenai Collectibles. If you want to become a member, just join, and you can see all the uh, uh, videos that are scheduled ahead of time, and you could leave comments with me and stuff. Hey, I saw your video that's you know scheduled, and uh, that was really cool. And and you'll see all the stuff, and you could watch them. I mean, I have weeks and weeks of scheduled videos up, and I think that um, that's one of the attractions of the uh, membership. And thank you, of course, to the subscribers. We're going to hit five thousand within the next couple of days, I think. <laughs> and, um, and that's it, you know, so thank you. God bless. And I'll see you on the next one.